lost it. Bat of the way. Good help defense. And here comes Kobe Bryant. He'll be booed almost every time he touches the ball. Battier in pursuit. The Souls jump shot is good, and the Lakers quickly go up 4 nothing. Coach, that's something I expect to see a lot of. Pick and rolls with Kobe Bryant, allowing Kyle Gasol to catch the ball with Yao Rosa. Straight game, Andrew Bryant, who's been struggling coming back from knee surgery, will come off the bench once again. And when you look at that, Jeff, what does that make them a better team? Obviously, Bynum's a terrific player, and as Bryant on a pull-up jumper. That's good, but where, do, where are the Lakers better with Owen? Well, I think they have more versatility in their game. An added ball handler, the pick-and-roll situation. Stola backing in. Stola up and under. Nice lefty move. But Odom... ...is the unsung hero of this Houston Rockets team. Trevor Reza gets it to Odom. Shot clock at six. Gasol short. And hooks the rebound. It's during the regular season, 33-8 and eight at home. That was the fifth best record in the league as Brooks gets to the rim. He did that in game one. A little water bug out on the floor. That's a good read by Brooks. He looked to be aggressive. They'll be fun watching Daniel and Bryant on the switch. Our test starts him and Bryant knocks it down. And the Lakers have started red hot. They're four or five from the field. Fisher. Only played four to seven games. Stola has it knocked away. Bryant again on the pull-up. Kobe Bryant, that's a two-pointer, his foot on the line. But he's off to a three-for-three three start. On the hit for their first five from the field and quickly built a seven-point lead. Rockets turn it over. That's been a problem in the series for him thus far. Farmar to Orem and the finish. Beautiful fast break by the Lakers. And I'm going to say this. Fisher's suspension hurts the Lakers too long. This gives him an opportunity to put an imprint plant on the game. Battier for three. That's good. Rockets needed that as the Lakers get off to a quick start. And he expected a quick whistle after what happened in game two as Farmore launches a three. That one in and out. Battier the rebound. See, those are the shots they have to start making to play efficient offense. Artest kicks another three. Our chest from downtown, very strong in this series. As Ariza comes back and misses that one. Fashion basketball. The one play with Derek Fishes that was blatant, in my opinion, and deserved a, a one game suspension. But other than that, this is just solid basketball. You see Trevor Ariza finally knock down a three. Well, I agree. I, I think it was out of the ordinary. Even Bryant's elbow, I think that was much ado about nothing. Yeah, man, has it blocked Scola right there on the follow. If you look at that play and people say, well, Lamar Odom can't contain Scholar. Lamar Odom did his job coming off health and blocking the shot. It's the perimeter guys that now have the responsibility of putting the body on Scholar. Kobe Bryant gets the nice roll. He's four for five to start. Bryant loves the challenge of everybody telling him how great Battier and Artest are at guarding him. Those two again, two of the best perimeter defenders in the league, both second team all NBA defense. Brooks for three. That's good. Rockets three for three from downtown. That's Lakers were the best road team in the NBA this year. They're used to hostile environments everywhere they go. It's a sellout on the road. As a reason, pretty pass to Odom. Lakers 29 and 12. So far in the playoffs in the road, they split their first two games. They're one and one, losing one and winning one in Utah in the opening round. Farmar dives on it, still going after it. Nice play from Farmar, and he gets it to Ariza. Great hustle play from Jordan Farmar. Now you can live with the mystery pointers by Jordan Farmer. Those are quality looks on Derek Fisher. Our chest, another three. Good boxing out from Odom. Very good pass by Yao Ming off the dribble as the double came late. Ryan, oh, Ryan on fire to start. He's got 11 points already. Ryan guarding Battier down the other end. Yao drops it in. One on one coverage. You're playing behind. You got no shot. So many different things for their teams. 
and Odom guards Scola, but Scola is guarding Arisa at the other end of the floor. Our test on Lamar Odom. Kobe Bryant to Arisa. Extra pass. Thomar. Pretty bounce pass. Great ball movement by the Lakers. And that's just good basketball. Unselfish play, making the extra pass. All behind here quickly on the road. Scola. Nice spin move against Odom. Luis Scola, who Shane Battier told us today, they dropped from the rotation in some ways. Six on the shot clock. Yao. Able to knock it down. Official will be available for game four on Sunday afternoon, right back here at the Toyota Center. Odom, quick jump shot. Our test calls out the play. Like the matchup, Scola. Odom's a good defender, but Scola so far has had his way. Battier inside. Yao Ming with the right hand. Boy, what a great soft touch. I really love the patience of the Rockets offensively right now. Scola, the 29-year-old, in just his second year after so many years playing professionally overseas. Walton on a bad pass from Brooks gets it to Farmar. And the turnovers once again. First two games. The Rockets had more turnovers than assists in each of the first two. Playoff. Luke Walton in guarding Artest. Artest powers to the basket. Scola left open. And knocks down another. Luis Scola, eight points here in the opening period with five rebounds as well. Farmar. The soul. Uh, they like that matchup, Yao Ming. That easy for him to come out and guard the perimeter. Oh, and he turned off. Pretty good pace here in this opening period. Brooks looking. Finds Battier for three. And that ends the first quarter. Both teams shooting very well from the field. Kobe Bryant off to a great start. As the Lakers shoot 61% and only turn it over one time. They called, excuse me, Jeff, they called the foul on Artest. And I don't like that strategy of doubling on Artest with Andrew Bynum that far away from the basket. Bynum back in, Bynum backs it in. Bynum has been struggling. Missed those 32 games with the knee injury. Played the final four of the regular season. And so what happened in game two? What happened was Wafer was upset coming out and had some choice words for Rick Allen as Artest flips it in nicely with the left hand. Adelman was bad, sent it back to the locker and said, you're done. He went back and was over. The two talked about it yesterday in Adelman's office. And Adelman said, you know what, that's over. I'm glad that he wants to play, but he's got to deal with it better. Really, Von Wafer, are you kidding me? You've been in the league four years. You played 225 minutes before this year. Then Rick Adelman plays you 1,200 minutes. And you're complaining? Battier plays the same way in a February game, in the fourth game in five nights, as he does here in game three of the conference semifinal. Here's what I love about it. I play with guys that were defensive stoppers or excellent defensive players. At some point, they'd say, hey, can I get a touch? Can you run a play for me? Shane Battier does his job no matter what. And while Bynum doing his job there, it was late. He's aggressive offensively and looks for his shot. He is an outstanding three-point shooter. Come on, make one for me, Shane. <laughs> See, I just think he's got to engage Bryant on the defensive end. His career, an excellent number from downtown. Four and a half gone by here in the second. Lakers have led the entire way by as many as eight. Lowry, nice feed by Landry, and the Rockets have their first lead of the night. And the way the Lakers defend the pick and roll, when you're the point guard, Getting the screen, you have to come off looking to be aggressive. Put pressure on that D. Lowry does exactly that. This second unit for Houston again, they play so hard. Come out with so much energy. Kobe Bryant puts it in a three-pointer. He's got 14 already. And to me, that was a mistake by Battier. You do not want Bryant shooting those threes. Lowry pushing. Blocked by Bryant. He was caught between whether the shoot or the pass made the wrong decision. Lujicic wide open in the left corner, but Brown didn't see him. 
instead shoots it and rattles in the jumper. Brown obtaining that trade from Charlotte as we have a foul on Luke Walton. And a technical foul quickly called. Oh, kicking the ball. There you go. And Yao Ming, how about that? A 7 5 guy shoots your technical free throws. Best team from your conference, and you're like, okay, we can give them a series. They really feel that they can win. Not only win a series, they think they can win a championship. And they they can. Whoever wins this series is going to go on to the finals, in my opinion. They want a foul by Gasol. What do they call it on Kobe Bryant? What do they call it on Bryant? So Bryant picks up his post. And all that coach of the year talk, George Carl was overlooked. That guy did an unbelievable job with his team. Think about it. They lost Marcus Camby for nothing. The fright front Yao Ming. That always seems to be the best defensive scheme. Well, batted away by Ariza. Ninth in the NBA in steals this year. Ariza strong to the basket, draws the foul. And Trevor Ariza will shoot two. This young man, last year injured, hardly played in the playoffs. What a difference he's made for this team this year, Mark. Turn the basketball over and allow a guy like Ariza to get it going in transition because then the open threes are so much easier. I have a problem with Trevor Ariza being compared to Michael Cooper. With Trey, Farmar got hurt. He wasn't playing as well. Bynum injured. Luke Walt injured. They have no rhythm. Their bench has played very poorly, and it's not going to be good enough unless they turn around to win this series. But how does it have an impact as we have a foul away from the ball? Having Lamar Odom in and out of the starting lineup, depending on where Bynum is in with an injury, as Gasol arguing the call with Steve Jobby. Does that have a big impact, one guy coming in and out? Just think about it, too. It changes Gasol's role. He would be matched up with Scola right now, going to work on a smaller guy offensively. Instead, he's having to guard Yao Ming. Just over a minute remaining here in the first half. Our test spinning. Nice pass. Yao can't get it to go. And Kobe Bryant goes high for the rebound. Bryant pushing. Bryant kicks it out. Walton steps back. Luke Walton gets it to go. Walton missed a bunch of games early in the playoffs with a foot injury. All the time, go for two-for-one situation. Want to get a quick shot up. Bryant quickly out. Walton will try a three-pointer. That's good. Luke Walton back-to-back -back jumpers. And the Lakers go up by four. That's a great read, coached by Kobe Bryant. Making the play, forcing the defense to collapse. And went through that tough stretch where they missed nine in a row. Brooks looking, fires away. Brooks three won't go. Yao Ming tips it in beautifully. Farmer, final seconds of the first half. Good defense from Brooks. Farmer off balance, can't get it to go. And that will end the first half. A good half of hard fought, clean basketball. And Yao Ming leading the way with 14 points for the Houston Rockets. Kobe Bryant, 14 points for the Lakers. And after the first two quarters, Lakers with just a two-point lead. Bryant, it was a flagrant one foul he was charged with after the foul. Obviously, it doesn't impact game two, but you pick up four flagrant foul points during the course of the postseason. You get one for flagrant one, and you get two points for flagrant two. You could be suspended once you hit that fourth point mark. Brooks out to Battier. Battier fakes a three, adjusts, puts up another. One ghost, all of the rebound and trap it. Back up and in. This guy just makes basketball plays night in and night out. The guy, at some point, you have to recognize they're going in. Now, Ming drives, ball knocked away. Nice defensive play. Bryant to Gasol. Now, trying to stay with him. Gasol spinning. Left hand. Pretty play from Kyle Gasol. That's been when Powell has been most effective on the block is when he's faced Yao and made plays. Kill. Yao made down low. Got short. Odom the rebound. Yao thought he got hit that time. Odom for three. And he rattles it in. Lamar Odom from downtown. He shot well from three-point range. Doesn't shoot a lot of three-pointers, but he's 6 of 12 from that range in the playoffs.
Lakers by seven. Our test, hard drive. And if I was the Lakers, I would consider on our test pick and roll. He's not a great passer off the dribble to, and make him be a passer. Our test now in double figures. Three Rockets led by Yao Ming's 14. Farmar. Ariza will try another three. That's good. Trevor Ariza drills it. His second three-pointer of the game. And sometimes it boils down to making shots. As simple as that. Floor. He's had a long year. Played this summer for China and the Olympics. Played 77 games this year as Brooks the runner. No help defense that time by the Lakers. Shot banks it in. But once again, it's, shot. But once again, it's pick and roll with Yao Ming. You force him to be the help defender, and then you attack. I was talking about this before the game of making sure he moves more, not just gets down to the post where they can deny him. Well, they haven't looked for Yao Ming on the post, so it has nothing to do with his presence. Good job of it. They're not going to pass it to me. I'm going to go get the basketball. That's what the big time big men do. Go get it off the glass. It's some coaches right there. Chance of defense from this sold out Toyota Center. The Saul against Yao trying to take him off the dribble. Tough shot, puts it in, and a foul. When Gasol faces up, he has the advantage. Again, man, it's Yao Ming's advantage. Good ball handling there, good separation, and the ability to stop like a perimeter player on a dime, a little fade. Gasol just four points at halftime. At six here in the third as he gets a rest. Lowry to the basket. Good hard drive. Puts it in. Lakers wanted an offensive foul. He may have warded off the defender with his right arm. Our test is now on Kobe Bryant. Those two got into it, obviously, in game two. Bryant the runner. Tough shot. Won't go. Ball tipped. Still alive and put in. I think Bynum was the one that tipped it in. Either Bynum or Bryant. Actually, I believe it was the left hand of Kobe Bryant. And take a look at Chauncey Billups and what he does for the Nuggets. There are times as a point guard that you have to keep the ball away from certain guys. Ron Artest is in that zone right now. You have to keep the ball away from him and get it in the hands of Yak. Bryant, hesitation out to Odom. Wide open three. Does it again. Lamar Odom, his second three-pointer of the game. And it's a 13-point Laker lead. And again, they're going to commit off of the corner to stop Bryant's penetration. Better job of running now the other end. Run the floor. Try to get an early scene in your post up. Test hesitant to take that open jumper. Now drives inside. Left handed. Flips it in. Back to 11, final minute. Ahead to Carl Landry. And Landry misses the layup. Nearly tipped in by Lowry and by the rebound. Here's Vujicic to Odom. Odom the layup. That's no good. And it's about a three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. The one thing you want to do is force Ron Artest to go right. Love to go left. Goes left and draws the foul. He's a right-hander. Well, that's where he's most effective. Does it that time. And will be rewarded with two free throws. The problem is, if, if you played him and this was the first time facing him, you have an excuse. This is playoff basketball. Take away what a guy does best. Ron Artest wants to get to his left. Your job as the initial defender is to force him to beat you with his right hand. Make him shoot it up over the top. The free throw. Chuck Hayes comes in. Now we'll get a breather. Kobe comes back in for the final possession. Well, that's a good description. But right now, you understand the Lakers are going to put the ball in the hands of Bryant and look for him to make a play. If I'm the Rockets, recognize that you have a foul to give and take it at the proper time. Nine point game. Second point to the man. Our test down Kobe. There's the foul again. 3.5, and that's a pretty good time. Well, it is the right time. You want to make sure the guy is in position to be aggressive and make a play. Our test takes the hit. And our test is perfectly positioned to take that away. 
excellent ball denial from our test. Brian has to come outside to get it. Drives, fires a long three. It's good! At the buzzer! Kobe Bryant nails the three-pointer. Such a tough shot. Our test defended him so well. And Bryant still able to knock it down. Good D from our test. Kobe Bryant just wants to catch it. And then, mama, there goes that man. Long distance. Knocking down the J to end the court. The Lakers outscore the Rockets 24 to 14. Bryant with the great offensive play there. But the Laker defense was superb. Rockets shoot just 6 of 25 in the third. We head to the fourth. Lowry the rebound. This is a really small team, Jeff. Yeah, it is. It's a small team, but they're going to try to use their quickness to get at the basket. Andrew. A little quick bucket, and it's back to 10. Have to begin to trust one another on the offensive end. Boya Chich, Byron, Shannon Brown, Kobe Bryant, Luke Walton out there for the Lakers. Down on the drive, gets in the paint, blocked for the foul. Landry swatted it. And I think they're going to call the foul on that. To me, he's the best play caller in the NBA. I, this guy is a great referee, and if you're the road team, you feel good walking in that there are no benefit of the doubt calls going to the home team. They don't rotate in all different referees. I think Steve Javi, or whoever the best guys are in the NBA, should do all seven games. You can't do three. That's the way they have it set up right now. I don't agree with that. We have a, a, a lot of great referees who bond weight but knock down the jump shot. Earn the right to call the biggest game. Oh, someone's sucking up for a coaching job over here. No, no, I'm just a truth teller. I'm just a truth teller. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not disputing we have a lot of great referees, but you want the very best. Matty A back on Kobe Bryant. Vujicic, quick catch and shoot, knocks down the three. Lakers from downtown, 9 of 17. 8 for 35 in the first two games, 9 for 17. That is the single biggest difference. They're going to load their defense up. Bryant blocks the first, but Landry stays with the play. They're going to load their defense up to Kobe Bryant. He drives it. Defense comes. It's a make or miss thing. If they make, they're going to win the game. Shannon Brown to the basket. Blocking foul as Chuck Hayes was in the restricted area. The free throws for Shannon Brown. Again, good drive. Five sets of eyes, and that's good defense and a good closeout. Just a better offensive play by Bryant and a knockdown shot by Bujicic. And that's a good call by Ronnie Garrison. Brown was obtained in that trade early this season. And it sent Vladimir Radmanovic to Charlotte. He said he was mixed feelings about the trade at first because he didn't know if he was going to be able to play with all the good talent on the Lakers. But boy, he's coming a fourth part on this team. As Landry picks up the loose ball. Landry out the way for Oh, a hard foul from Vujicic. As Wafer goes down, Wafer got him up in the air. Wojcic came down pretty hard. And that's really the first hard foul we've seen tonight after all the extracurricular activities in game two. So Javi, Garrettson, and Corbin will talk about it. Will they call a flagrant foul? I think they're going to the replay. If they're going to the replay, that means it's a flagrant two. No, I think they're going to see if it's a three-point shot. All right. They haven't made any call in terms of flagrant. There's no question way for Lee That's in. not a flagrant foul. That is basketball right there. He goes up to contest. He's trying to stay away from fouling. Wafer actually, to me, you can make the debate that that's an offensive foul by Wafer jumping in sideways. Absolutely, totally, totally agree. You talk about Wafer trying to create the contact, which he did, and he sold the foul. 
fouls and suspensions. Let the guys play basketball. That's all clean stuff. That, but that's what it's in, in the rule in terms of following through like that. And he, in slow motion, it didn't look he like He followed that. through because he got hit in the stomach. One half for Yao Ming. Shot clock at four. Ryan the drive, the ball fake. Misses it, gets the rebound, backs in the follow. 23 for Kobe Bryant, and he paid the price for that one. Really took a tough shot. Had a wide open power to Gasol the first time, didn't trust, looked to make play for himself. Yao doubled. Wafer, a three pointer. Knocks it down. Big shot right there for the Rockets. To me, a poor decision and open up the three-point game. Wafer has eight points here in the fourth quarter. He's been doing the scoring for it. Kobe Bryant blocked. Still put it in. Battier got a piece of it. And Bryant with his strength backed it in. Phil Jackson on the sideline upset. Saying that should have been a three-point play for Bryant. Lowry the drive. Count it and one. Kyle Lowry with a chance for a three-point play. A display mark. Well, you understand. Kobe understands. Hey, this is game winning time. Actually, no foul. That's all ball by Shane Batty and the strength of Kobe Bryant. How about on the other end? Kyle Lowry keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Barmar sets it up. Again, if you're just joining us, and I've heard Derek Fisher suspended the one game. Barmar got the start. Kicks it out. Ariza. Open three pointer. It's good. Trevor Ariza, his third three pointer of the night. He's got 12 points in a lead back up to a dozen. But once again, pick and roll, and Jordan Palma makes the play. Dribble penetration, inside outside attack. Our test way off the mark. Battier passed up the open three. Shot clock did not reset. Our test shot didn't hit the rim. Battier, two on the clock. Short. Rebound Battier. Shuffle pass to Landry. And Phil Jackson wants timeout. Bill Jackson yelling at Kyle Gasol and Lamar Odom, get the rebound. And he's 100% right. If you're going to win tough ball games on the road, you have to take care of what's need, what needs to be taken care of. Actually, Gasol turned down the first one. That's a shot you have to take. That's a good quality possession for the Lakers. Lowry in the game at crunch time. Give and go with Yao Ming. Inside, backs it in. But that's where Lowry's at his best, when he's attacking the basket. A bad decision by Farmer to over-pursue the entry pass to Yao Ming. Brian on Battier getting in deep that time. And Artest able to get it to go. Got away from the three-point line and able to get something going down low. This is my concern with the Lakers. Right now, they're playing D like they have a cushion. Lessening of defense and rebounding intensity by the Lakers in this quarter, which is inexcusable if you're trying to regain home court advantage. Now inside the finish, it's a six-point game. How do you keep the basketball out of his hands? The best offensive big man in basketball. Many in the crowd on its feet. Rockets right back in. Gasol. Farmar, the jump shot, puts it in. Big shot from Jordan Farmar. It all starts again, though, with putting Yao Ming into pick and rolls and letting Gasol either shoot it. Yao Ming try to run up the floor. He is in serious pain. Only has two points here on the fourth. Only four in the second half. Shot knocked down to three. Gasol, the drive, kicks it out. Bryant just gets it off in time and puts it in. A three-pointer for Kobe Bryant as the shot clock expires. The lead back up to 11. Huge shot right there as Artest forces it up. Blocked by Odom. Artest gets it back and bullies his way in as he backs it in. Mark made the point earlier, though. That's bad basketball. Now Gasol giving him a new 24 at a huge time. Bryant spinning, flips it up, won't go. Odin on the finish. And Rick Allen needs a timeout as the Lakers back up by 11 with 1.22 remaining. They're ready to start celebrating. But on the offensive end, the good news is Kobe Bryant beating the clock.
It should be a crime being that good. 30 for Kobe Bryant. Ten point game. Lakers try and take as much time off the clock at each possession. Brooks, who just checked back in with the foul. So now Lakers hit the free throws. They can relax and win this one easily if they start missing it. In a long time, or you go back to your original unit with Fisher starting. Farmar played 32 minutes, 8.7 assists. A test on the drive. Gets inside, banks it in. Point game with just over a minute remaining. And quickly a foul on Farmar. Backs it to Again, it's back to 10 with a minute to go. Sports Center coming up next. Can the Rockets make one last run? Our test finally gets one to go. It's a three pointer. Are they going to review it? Our test felt it was a three. And Steve Javery will quickly check it out. And Yao Ming becomes more glaring as he goes down the floor. And Rick Adam wants to substitute Scola for Yao, but on the made basket, won't be able to. Lakers just splitting a pair of free throws the last two times. They've got to get the ball into Kobe Bryant's hands as we see that's a two-point shot. Clearly that right foot on the line. So a two-pointer makes it an eight-point game. And I love the NBA rule that they changed you to give the referees the ability to get those type of calls right. Boy, look at him. He is really hurting right now. They double the saw at the foul. And they do. Now the saw will now go to the line. And Scola comes in for Yao. He's not even looking over at Scola. He wants no part of coming out of the game. He's going to go directly to the locker room. So Keith Jones, their head athletic trainer, greets him right away. Gasol hits the free throw. If you even look at the Rockets defensively, obviously they're fouling right away, but one thing they're doing, double teaming Kobe Bryant, so they're, cup, they're, they're playing the numbers. They're forcing the ball into the hands of someone else, and then they're fouling the lead. We saw one for two, and a timeout Rick Adelman. You saw that well time, Yao Ming's right knee. That was from that play earlier in game one. Right now, Rockets down nine. Frank of Kyle Lowry. Our test launches a three and nails it from about five feet beyond the arc. That makes it eight with 45 seconds to go. Gasol driving and a hard foul as Gasol goes down hard. Gasol went up. He went to block the shot, obviously to foul. Him. And let's see what the call is going to be from Sean Corbin. Gasol just got up. And he didn't look to start anything. Ron Garrettson keeping Ron Artest away. It's Artest. It's a hard foul. No question, a hard foul. But the officials are going to review it. They're going to call it a flagrant two. So he's ejected. They're not going to keep it a flagrant two. Well, Steve, that's the initial call on the court. Do you have to be suspended for the next game on a flagrant no. two? No. No, it's not a definite. It can be. See, this is where I have a problem with this. Now, the NBA officials are being told to call it like this, but this constant stream of ejections, suspensions, if you want to find that after the after the game and after review, that's one thing. But to throw a guy out, I, I just, I, I couldn't disagree more. Well, our test just calmly walked off. In fact, Steve Javi made the call. He had a calm word for him as he went off the floor. Rick Allen obviously upset. We tried to send a message to his team. Mission accomplished. Now they, they find themselves up to one. Kobe Bryant now at 33 points. Shot blocked by Farmar. Scola picks it up. And you're right about Fisher. A great man who made a poor decision in that one play. Farmar the rebound. Scola the foul. And Jordan Farmer will go to the free throw line, finish up. A very impressive game for him. Starting in place of the suspended Derek Fisher. Four legs. 
it's just an unbelievable amount of stress because of his enormous size that he puts on his joints. Lafer brings it up. That won't go. Hold on the rebound, and that'll do it. Lakers take a 2-1 lead and regain the home court advantage. Well, it's an impressive 14-point win here in Houston. 33 more points for Kobe Bryant. That after the 40-point effort, but that is the key sight and the key story for the Houston Rockets. Yao Ming limping off the floor. How serious it is, and will he be ready for game four on Sunday? Right now, let's check in with Lisa Salters and Kobe. Thanks, Mike. Kobe, they were kind of hanging around. What was the difference down the stretch? Well, we had to get stops. You know, aside from, you know, when they started really making desperation plays and we weren't able to get our hands on the ball and get stops, I felt like, you know, the start of the quarter, we did a really good job. Third quarter, did a good job getting stops, and that was enough to sustain us. Now, for you in the second half, I mean, you struggled, struggled for you in the second half. What were you able to do to, to kind of make up for it? Well, you know, I just missed a lot of easy shots. You know, I, I had some shots at the rim. It just didn't go down for me tonight. Um, but, you know, I made a couple ones there. We really needed to in that three. I, was, I had to pull the string on that one. It just went in for me, so it's good. Jordan Farmer, he's in for, he was in for uh, suspended Derek Fisher. What does this do for his confidence a game like tonight? Well, Jordan's confident anyway, you know, and he works, works really hard to back that up. And so, you know, we knew when he had the opportunity to step in and perform, he was going to perform. Um, but we can't wait to get Little Rock back. All right, and lastly, I got to ask you about Ron Artest being ejected for the second time. Just what did you think of that foul? Because the guys are kind of debating over there whether I, they I thought. I don't think that was a flagrant. You know, I, it may be a flagrant one. You know, and that rule is so all over the place. It's really tough to gauge. I felt like it was a good hard foul. Um, you know, and I'm an 80s baby, so that should have just been two shots and, you know, just be done with it. All right, thanks, and congratulations on the win. Thank you. Mike. All right, Lisa, the 80s baby had 33, but a couple of other key numbers for L.A. They didn't turn it over in the fourth quarter and only six turnovers for the entire game.